Hello everyone and welcome to another redstone tutorial with Cass on the Mesoma channel. So guys, today I'm here to show you a really cool concept of a hidden key using activated by a boat. So when you place a boat on this gold block, this lamp will activate as you can see. And the circuit that makes this work is just this. Uh, so if you place a, a boat here, the lava will burn it immediately but the pressure plates are still going to be activated and we get a signal and the lava destroys the boat so you can activate something uh, from below the ceiling without anyone noticing except that uh, the lava might give away that there is something going on because there is lava sound and uh, particles dripping from the block as you can see here so uh, one of my subscribers uh, sent me this uh, really cool system that pretty much takes care of it so uh, as you can see there are no particles and no lava sound here and if I place a boat here we get the same output as you could see it's pretty fast and it's extremely simple guys as you can see here so what we have here is a dispenser with a lava bucket so when the boat is placed here it will activate uh, this piston with a redstone block here and there is just uh, a redstone line here on top of those blocks so as you can see it will oops let me place the block uh, it will pose twice so lava will be spilled out and it will retract so uh, as you guys know I have this sort of obsession with <laughs> redstone lamps and inspired by his map uh, which by the way I modified a little bit uh, I decided to make this work with the lamp as well and this is exactly what you are going to see now if I place a boat on this lamp the lamp blinks and you can use it once again and the circuit is pretty simple as well it's just this so let me show you oh no uh, once again let me show you yeah so what happens is that when you place a boat here uh, there is uh, an invisible uh, activation block here that will make this hopper dropper pulse and when it pulses it will activ activate this dispenser first from this side and four ticks later from this side and don't ask me how it doesn't create a clock maybe it's because this oops, pressure plate is powering uh, this dropper here and at the same time when power is here it can also make the lamp blink because I, I really wanted this uh, uh, silly effect here I wanted the lamp to blink just to confirm that something happened so let's see this once again yeah and as you can see it works but even after uh, doing this design I was not satisfied yet and the only problem is that every time you place a boat here you lose the boat because lava will destroy it so I just wanted to come up with a design that would uh, give you back your boat so you could reuse it as many times as you want and then I came up with this design up here so as you can see when you place a boat it will blink but it will also give you another boat and once again another boat as you can see it's pretty fast and there is no lava particles here because lava is not there and this is the system that makes this all possible it's only too wide since we don't need uh, any redstone here it looks uh, over complicated maybe because it is <laughs> and I will try to explain uh, everything that's happening here and you will understand that this is pretty compact so let's see what happens when the boat's here and once again yeah, so everything happens pretty fast so let me explain uh, when the boat is placed here it will activate both those pressure plates here on this side and the first thing that's going to happen is that this piston is going to raise up and send the pulse here so lava will be spilled out and break the boat uh, and then this piston will retract but two ticks later uh, it will also send uh, those uh, minecart boosters here and they will capture the item uh, and at the same time as it's going to break and I also forgot to explain that uh, if, I, if I place a boat right here lava will completely destroy it but if I place a boat on this block um, and I place lava on the corners or on the sides of the boat it will not uh, exactly 
it will not be destroyed, it will become an item and the item will be picked up by the minecarts uh, with hoppers uh, at the, uh, while in air, so it's pretty fast, let me show you, uh, you pay attention to the item uh, jumping yeah, it's really hard to see. <laughs> yes, now now we could see uh, the the boat breaks and it will capture the the drop in the air. It's pretty fast. Yes, that's how it works. And then when the minecarts return here, uh, this hopper will place another boat here. But because there was another boat there as well, uh, when this gets a pulse, you get a boat back. And then when this torch finally turns on again, uh, this will uh, send the final pulse up here so the lava will be sucked back in the dispenser and it was uh, pretty challenging to uh, be able to compact everything here you you need this uh, this area uh, you don't you ha you have to be this area have to have this area free of solid blocks like this even repeaters you cannot place repeaters on this area because otherwise boats cannot be placed on top here and well yeah, this is uh, <laughs> pretty uh, complex for what it does, but you uh, have to understand, it does a lot of things. Like, uh, it will detect a boat, it will break the boat and not destroy the boat, it then will get the boat back uh, and send it to you, reset itself and make the lamp blink and in all in this really compact space. So yeah, enough talk, let's just go ahead and make a quick tutorial for you guys. Alright guys, we are ready to start our tutorial. So start by deciding where you want your lamp to be and place two solid blocks on each side of it and on one of the sides you just place uh, either a dispenser or a dropper facing down and you can cover that up and place a hopper facing it. Just hold shift and click on it. Now place a solid block on top of it and here uh, we want to have a normal rail, it's very important that it's a normal rail and then um, a powered rail and on this side you can place a solid block and this uh, might happen to you so in this case just place another rail here, a powered rail here and break it so you have this shape and well let's start working on the other layer which is this one so uh, diagonal to your lamp place two pressure plates it cannot be a uh, stone pressure plates but it will work with anything else like iron gold or uh, wood and from here we want a repeater on two ticks solid block and redstone dust and on this side use a sticky piston and then place a cauldron on top of it and fill it up with water. Now place a solid block here, comparator, and your dispenser uh, with lava goes here, so you can place lava here already. Another solid block here and another uh, comparator there. Redstone torch, uh, now uh, make sure that you're using a dropper and not a dispenser and place it right here, another hopper facing it and you have to use one fern here otherwise it's not going to work and this is uh, pretty much the system that makes the lava spill out and be retracted back so don't forget to place a bucket of lava here and we can already test it so if you place a bolt here it should break and become an item yeah just like so as you can see it burned the item but it's not going to happen because this repeater on two ticks is configured uh, perfectly for the minecarts to capture it. So finally uh, place a torch here and the rest on dust here, it will also power this rail for us. And finally uh, pick three minecarts uh, with hopper and from here you can see that if I uh, if I point my mouse here we can see the hitbox of the rail so click three times one two and three and there we have three minecarts it's necessary for the booster to work it doesn't work with two minecarts or one it will break so please uh, place three of them here and now if we place uh, our boat we can, need, we can also place another boat here because we need one boat to be stored here at least for uh, it to give it back and then place it here and there we go another boat and once again yeah as you can see you get the boat that is inside here and it will store the boat that you just place it there so 
<laughs> there is lava being spilled there so let's try it once again so as you can see the system works pretty uh, fast uh, in every direction uh, the redstone will not update and change this uh, this direction and as you can see it works it just works as simple as that well it's not really simple it it took me a lot of work to make it this compact and well it does everything that i wanted and the lamp blinks and you can get the signal to do whatever you want like open a secret door or something like that and well guys this is pretty much everything i wanted to show today uh, so thank you very much Thales and Vitor for sending me your designs for uh, the boat activation key and i hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial even with my computer freezing all the time <laughs> and i will see you next time Let's check that out. And you can have, uh, in this case, one, uh, two, three.